Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So it is day 3 of the 5 a.m. study challenge. So I woke up today at 5 a.m. and it is almost like 7 a.m. right now. So I was doing this Amin chapter and I am done with first lecture revision and I am revising the second lecture right now. So basically I am reading lecture notes then I am revising them and then solving its DPPs. And as you guys can see that I'm studying on my bed because in the morning I just don't feel like going to desk and study there. So now I will study for a while and will try to complete this chapter completely in this session. So now I will be solving PYQs of this chapter and there are only 50 PYQs so I don't think so it will take a lot of time so I will do that now. So I am finally done with PYQs of this chapter as well and studied for almost like 3 hours and now I will take a break for around 1 or 1 and a half hour in which I will take a bath, workout and will have my breakfast and then we will continue with some other subject. So here I want to talk about previous 34 years neat UG question book from Disha Publications and this book contains previous equations which are given in chapter wise and topic wise format. I have this one in biology but this comes in all the three subjects which is physics, chemistry and bio. And this book also covers seven additional papers which are missing in other books. If I take a random chapter say the living world, so firstly a trend analysis table is given which will help you to know that from which topic or from which subtopic questions have been asked in previous years and what was the level of difficulty of questions and how many questions have been asked. The great part is that questions are given topic wise. The most recent year questions are given first and answer key and detailed solutions of all the questions is provided and the one thing that I really like is that I am using this book from past few months and there is no error in any answer which is great. Few added notes are also provided which highlights the tips and techniques to solve different questions. And in this way, all the chapters of class 11th and 12th are given in this book. This edition is a fully revised and updated edition with zero errors. The one thing that I really like about this book that the questions have been arranged chapter wise or more precisely topic wise. So you guys can get an idea that from which topic or from which chapter how many questions have been asked and what type of questions have been asked. So I will link this book in the description box below definitely check this one out. So I was about to start my next study session but our school just informed us that we have to make projects for biology, chemistry and um, English and do you know what I need to submit the projects on 7th of March and on 7th of March they are going to make practical as well so I need to do both of those things and today is 3, 3rd of March and I only have like 3 to 4 days to do the entire thing and now i'm just searching for some project ideas so i went outside and i've purchased few of the items for my project work so first of all i got this paper to like make the cover of my project work i got two of these because i need to make like three subjects so i guess two of, two of these would be enough 
and then I got these decorative project pages to like make the project and because they're decorative so I don't need to spend a lot of time in decoration and all and then I got these 10 10 rupees wally notebooks a set of 10 because I need to like write down the important points that I need to memorize from each subject so I think these would be perfect for that and at last I got some ball pens it's all about the mini haul it is 6 15 right now I will take a break for like 15 minutes and then I will continue with my studies at 6 30 and one more thing that I want to ask you guys is that uh, as this is a 5 a.m. study challenge but sometimes when I'm not able to complete my to-do list I need to sleep early because I need to wake up early in the morning and this sometimes creates a backlog so what I was thinking is that I will continue this challenge but instead of a 5 a.m. study challenge we can keep a particular hour goals example we can keep a challenge like 12 hour study challenge or something like that and few of you guys are night owls so you guys can also join this challenge so as it is 6.15 and I need to complete the entire due nature chapter if I complete the entire chapter today I will go to sleep at around like 11 or 11.30 and then it is not possible for me to wake up early that's why I am thinking of changing this challenge to a particular hours challenge for example 10 hours study challenge or 12 hours study challenge so let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in that So I am done with more than half of the chapter and now I am going to take a little dinner break and I have to cook my own sabji because the one that mom made I didn't like it so I will make my own and I will take a dinner break for around half an hour.